Hey guys, and welcome back to Pokemon Moon. We're picking right up where we left off. So let's head down to the marina. What's this? Ah, uh, City Hall. Cool. Looking good, thank you. Just got a new haircut, actually, and some new uh, threads. Anything interesting in here? Ribbons. They're like a way to wrap your Pokemon up in precious memories for perpetuity. I've heard that there are a lot of different kinds of ribbons in other regions outside of Alola. It's one of the jobs of City Hall to maintain the roads and make sure there is space for any ride Pokemon to travel along them too. Bzz, bzz. Don't know what I expected. Yes, yes, I'll need some identification please. Do you have a trainer passport? Oh, so you're McFly. Yes, I remember preparing a trainer passport for you, of course. Professor Kukui asked me to. You came from Kanto, didn't you? Is it true that Meowth from Kanto are different from Meowth here in Alola? Yes, it is. They're less weird. Oh my, looks like our berry stock is getting a bit low. I'd better put in another order for delivery from the berry fields. Hey. Just a midchamp walking around in the background. Yeah, this is medicine for Pokemon. Take it with you for your travels. Ooh, revive. That's nice, thank you. Children and Pokemon should always be full of energy. That's the way they're meant to be. Keeping our city clean and supporting the folks who work at the Pokemon Center. Those are all things that City Hall handles too. Getting documents from City Hall is such a convoluted process that it feels rather like you're playing some kind of elaborate game. Like papers, please. <laughs> our family is growing. And we have lots of Pokemon too, so we'll have a very lively home. We're going to get married. We just applied for our marriage license. Congratulations. I'm busy thinking about what kind of city we should make our Hawaii into. It's got to be convenient for the people living here, and for the Pokemon living here too. A whole lot of nothing, except to revive. How's it, McFly? If you're looking for good eats, you've found them. Plus, Melisada make your Pokemon like you, and affectionate Pokemon are better in battle. Who can resist giving their Pokemon a few Melisada, eh? That's just so cute. Now that I've got some fuel in me, I want to go right down to the marina and scream out loud. Watch me, Tutu. No. Watch me, world. I'm going to beat even my old gramp someday. Team Skull or Melisada does... How can we choose? I want to check out both. Uh, Team Skull, every time. You can heal your Pokemon of effects like poisoning by treating them with the medicine to be found in Pokemon Refresh. I don't understand why opening those gates like starts a cutscene to then not animate the gates. Tiny Mushroom. Any Pokemon here? Any good Pokemon here, I should specify? Pichu. Butterfree should be able to take it out. Ooh, maybe not. Confusion will work alright, wouldn't it? Let me do get the confusion. Kill yourself. Good. Excellent. Didn't want to take a Thundershock, to be honest. Slowpoke grows to level 9. Wants to learn Water Gun. Heck yeah. Get rid of Growl. Slowpoke learns Water Gun. So now we can actually fight Fire types. And Rock types. Like that damn Bonsley. Oh, it's a shortcut back there. Um, yeah, I couldn't care less about Malasada, so let's go to the marina. Where's that? Is that down here? No, down this way. A champ. Ooh, is it Pokemon Battle? I don't know what'll be going here, but at least you've compacted the soil with a good bulldoze. you got to start from a firm base, you know, no matter what you're building. Goo. Ooh. I oh, know, I thought that was an item, just decoration. <laughs> he 
here's some advice, trainer. If you're going to stand up to tough opponents, then be willing to use items on your Pokemon. You can help them get stronger. Holy Police Station, keep our roads safe. Careful riding Pokemon. Anything cool around the back here? Ooh, police car. Truck. Gramble. It's a stuffed doll of everyone's favourite Gramble, making its famous scary face. I don't know how it is in other regions, but things are pretty peaceful here in Alola. If you do anything too bad, after all, you'll bring the wrath of the Guardians down upon you. Nothing really interesting in here. Wet paint, a lima and smeagol. So I can't go in there yet. For whatever reason. They want me to explore the town, I guess. I'm not sure it cuts straight down here. Ooh, TM. How do I get that? How do I get that? Like this. I really like Butterfree. I'm glad I have one. Should be able to stick around for a while. Ooh, a Rattata. Surprisingly, I haven't actually found one of these yet. Um, hopefully Gus doesn't kill it. Cool. Alright, let's go for a Pokeball. I actually kind of want to use um, Faticate now. One, two, three, you can do it. Excellent. Rattata was caught. Butterfree gained 62 experience and grows to level 12. Ooh, some nice stat buffs there. And everything else grows. Rattata's data will be added to the Pokedex. I never become dark type in Alola. When the sun goes down, it becomes active. It runs around town on a chase for good food for the boss of its nest, Eradicate. No nicknames, thank you. Do we want to get rid of anyone? Kind of don't want Piggy Peck. We've got flying moves on Butterfree. Um, I mean, really. Oh, we will have Linton. That'll be a dark type. We don't need two darks and two psychics. Send it to the box, I guess. That's cool. Adding to our Pokedex every day. Echoed voice. Wow, that's a strong early, early game TM, isn't it? Yeah. And an Abra. Let's see if we can kill it. Yeah, definitely. Level 5. Abra's got paper thin defenses. And a critical hit to boot. Excellent. Poor thing. Let's swap someone else out in front. Because Butterfree is getting mega over leveled. Mm. I like to have my Pokemon in order of. Um, levels, usually. Then health. Alrighty. Except for when I'm raising one, obviously. Alright, finally let's head down to the marina.
You've got a real sweet kind of face, don't you? I bet old ladies like to give you candy. That's a weird thing to say. Everyone's so weird in this game. The one place to get off and on ships. Attack power is the key to anything. If you use an X attack in battle, you can defeat a very tough opponent. Here. Here, I'll give you one. Here, I'll give you one to try for yourself. Thanks, I'm just going to sell that because they're worth more money than they are worth in battles. Defense is everything in battle. If you use the next defense, your opponent's attacks will practically bounce right off you. Thank you. Just going to sell these. It's like um, returning a gift that someone gets you to get something else. Greetings, it's me, Captain Lima. Yo, 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 check it. Whenever we... Whenever, wherever we meet you, Team Skull, don't even greet you. <laughs> so, Cap, just kill the Pokemon, yo. Oh, you from the trainer school. Already made your way to Hawaii, huh? What, what? Why are you trying to act hard when we're already hard as bone out here, homie? Yo, let's check these fools. <laughs> oh my, how terrifying. Only thieves steal people's Pokemon. I won't stand for it. McFly, wasn't it? I'll ask you to take care of that one. I'll get rid of this one. Oh, a battle against these Team Skull numbskulls in Marina. Count me in. Yo, check how I changed the game with my mad Pokemon skills. These guys are doofuses. Challenge by Team Skull Grunt. Sends out a Zubat. Is that a Safari Ball? Or a Nest Ball or whatever it is. Um, let's put it to sleep. Get rid of some water guns. This is super effective. Yep. And I flinch, of course. Can you put it to sleep, please? Good. Um, let's go for a water gun. Don't flinch. Alright, if you can break out of confusion, that'd be really good. One more turn, yes. Good job, Slowpoke. <laughs> Just like dancing in the background there. God, you got the longest possible confusion. I bet she wakes up. Shocking. I bet she gets a flinch as well. No? Oh, good. Lucky me. We can kill it this turn as long as it doesn't get a, a, a critical hit. We'll be right. Or a flinch. Oh my god. Now we have to use a potion. Oh, thank god. Do not confuse me again, you ass. Flinch. No, yeah, finally. What an annoying move set. Supersonic Astonish. Alrighty, Abracos to level 9. And we defeat Team Skull Grunt. For real? Over already? No fair, I was playing a different game. Let's get up. 
let's get up out of this port B. Nobody has to know about this. We don't need your whack Pokemon anyway, Lima. Again, oh my, how terrifying. My thanks to you and your Pokemon. Why don't I heal your team to express my gratitude? Yeah, because it was such a tough battle. I must admit, I've been wondering about you since I saw you at the trainer's school. Professor Kukui brought you along, and you and your Pokemon seem to defeat our teacher so effortlessly. Very well then, allow me to see if you're ready for my trial. Yeah, let's do it. Behold the magnificent Pokemon of the one and only Captain Alima. What they should do is have like, they want to test you, except they have like a level 30 or 40 Pokemon or something this early. So it's like, ah, well we'll rematch and like you're designed to lose or something. You are challenged by Captain Lima. Captain Lima sends out a young goose in an Ultra Ball. Seems like a bit of a waste. Nine. Alright, we're in a pretty good position here. Ah, well, luckily I didn't try and swap out, swap out even. Does it show that he's been yawned? Drowsy. Ah, cool. Oh, it's going to lower my defense, so Pursuit's going to hit harder eventually. See if we can take it out before it gets any off, though. Yeah, that's going to be a no. <laughs> Does, like, no damage. Alright, let's swap to... Butterfree. Uh, okay. That's annoying. Um, confusion, I guess. Gust probably would have been stronger. Going for the stat drops. Oh yeah. This next attack's gonna hit pretty hard. Let's try um confusion's fifty. Gust is forty, what type's butterfree? Buck flying. Gust is gonna do more damage. Pichu goes to level 9. Good boy. Smeagol. Do we reckon it'll only have Sketch? Let's go for Hard and then Test. No, he's got Tackle. Mistakes were made. Damn, that did a lot of damage. And he's faster than me as well. Heal up on a free. With our harden, we should be able to live this coming tackle. And then be able to get ooh, um, another harden off and then heal. Oh, lift on one. So, what did that do? 16. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, no critical hits. All high rolls, please. Yeah, high roll. Oh, well, then I'll take it out anyway. Um, Ember. Of 
course you have water gun. Why wouldn't you have water gun? God damn. Did exactly half. Um, what's the best course of action here? Ember will do a bit more damage. Yeah, I've got an upgrade one between us to take it out, I reckon. I was going to say I could go for the Leer and set it up for something else to take it out next turn. But it's on a timer now anyway with the burn. It's kind of annoying how they nerfed the burn damage. Because now Sableye is a bit less... Um... What's the word? Viable. Like I wouldn't be able to use Sableye very much in Wi-Fi battles in this general. Oh, of course you have a potion. My god, you're a pain in the butt. I think I kinda need that, uh and I can't even put it to sleep because it's burnt. Let's see if this does more damage. Looks like pretty bulky, should be able to take a few tackles. Yep, that does more. Alright, so assuming everything goes well, we should be able to take it out this turn. Can't believe I'm having this much trouble with the Smeagol. Sweet, done. I wonder if it knows, like, an elemental move based on which starter you picked. So if you send out your starter, it's like, haha, I gotcha. And we grows to level 10. Yes, you have emerged victorious. Can you heal my Pokemon again? You, or should I say you and your Pokemon, make quite the interesting team. I do hope you'll come to Vidant Cavern and attempt the trial, the trial of Alima. You can get there from Route 2. That Rotom Dex of yours will show you the way. I bid you a Lola. Route 2 is just too exciting to miss today. There is to wit. No, missed it. Whatever. Would have been a pun or something anyway. The ocean around Alola looks so huge and endless, but thanks to the great ferry system, you can get to the next island in no time. Ooh, what's down here? Anything cool? Super potion, not bad, but not bad. Random blue cone. Alrighty, I really don't want to go to the Massada place. Ever since uh, I accidentally watched it on TV. And it was really annoying. Let's hit up the... Oh, can't get through here. Hit up the Pokemon Center. Hmm. No, nothing there. Um, how do I get that item actually? I would like that very much. Gate down here. Excellent. Why do I keep missing all these gates? I still don't think it's necessary to have it, like, fade to black and scene transition. Another Pichu. Yeah, Slowpoke's not the best matchup. Hopefully it lets us run away. Whoops, not what I wanted. Oh dear. Come on, mate. Okay. Will it let me run away after it knocks out my slowpoke? Oh, it still hasn't done it yet. Thank you. Goodness. Let's swap someone else out into the front. No one can take a Pichu. So let's go heal up first, I guess, and then get that item. Stupid Pichus. Hammer the A button. And 
and head back down. So just swap in Butterfree real quick. I oh, forget it. It's so annoying trying to move Pokemon around now. Why they like take that out? Make it its own button for crying out loud. Another revive, very nice. Alright, let's head to route two. Oh, wait for me, McFly. Don't need my hand held every day. Oh, I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. I can't figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. But you, you're moving on to your first trial. You're going to Pedant Cavern. I read something in an old book once. It said th that the island challenges were once a journey made to prove yourself and gain the strength to battle against the guardian deities of Alola, like Tapu Koko. The people in Iki Town said that Tapu Koko loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? If we could meet Tapu Koko once more, do you think we would find the answer to why it saved you and Nebby that day, McFly? Pew. McFly, good luck on your first trial. I hope that it goes well for you. Later. I think I see something in front of Route 2, something I didn't really want to see again. More. There, McFly, I've got this ornery creature calmed again for now. Want to try giving him a little pat again? That's the only way he'll get used to you. I'm gonna capture it. Who? Maybe old Tauros here can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems happy to know you. And yet, it still seems to me like Tauros wants to stretch his legs on his own island challenge, huh? What? You want to play tag now? The Mili Mili Kahuna never loses, friend. What do you think there is beyond Route 2? It's too much. I can't wait to see it all. A path through many grassy patches. What a fascinating display um, description. Careful out here, young trainer. Haven't you seen the way the grass shakes on Route 2? That rustling grass hides a Pokemon that is dying to pounce on some easy trainer target. But battling those feisty creatures can be worth it. They sometimes drop items after battle. You're mine. Oh, I can't seem to sneak. Okay, it's just going to rush me anyway. I thought it was like the shiny ones they had to sneak against in um, Horus and X and Y. Anyway, Marku Hita comes out, and Slowpoke would be a good matchup if I had a psychic move. Let's put it to sleep. Tackle shouldn't do too much. Excellent. Slowpoke's just so, so bulky. Let's go for a water gun. See how that goes. One, two, three. It's doing literally one damage. Four, five. Okay, that does some good damage. Ah, oh, damn it, it's critical hit. Which means it does like no damage. Remind me to make this slow pick physical. Why does that do so much more damage? That's so annoying. Work up your sleep for one turn. Don't crit. Alright, let's capture it. Little fatty. One, two, three, and captured. Awesome. Marker hit was caught. Regress level. He looks so upset. Why don't you check out just what kind of Pokemon it is you caught, pal? 
Their daily routine consists of training together first thing in the morning, eating and napping in the afternoon, and then more training afterwards. That sounds ideal. No thank you. And send it to a box. Finding type would probably be pretty handy, actually, I think. Maybe I should have swapped it out for a Abra. Another Radata. Tackle does so much more damage when Water Gun should be like wrecking things. He's going for the critical hits, that's not good. Didn't get one though, huh? Litten grows to level 14. Nearly evolving, actually. <sighs> Dang it. Couldn't make it out of the grass in time. And we'll probably just run from this one. Unless he's going to be feisty and... Like, uh... Yeah, block me. Can we not do this, please? Sick. Can I go now, please? You've beaten up my Pokemon. Thank you. Pain in the butt. What's up? Welcome, trial goer. Think you can handle the ordeal of defeating a beauty? You are challenged by a beauty crystal. Sounds out a ghastly. That's nice. Pichu has thunder shock, right? Excellent. Let's go for a thunder shock. I haven't used anything yet. Oh. Alright, that's going to be about a three hit KO. Alright, one more should do it. <laughs> Why? Why would you not? I haven't seen any tacky moves so far. I'm just going to use Spite and reduce my Thunder Shock again. Interesting tactic. Going to make me struggle. Now I can't get away. This ghastly makes Pokemon just trouble themselves to death. Puts them to sleep, spites them. Mean looks and he can't swap out. Hey, I woke up. Take it out, please. No, oh, no, don't put me back to sleep. Like, you do have an attacking move. Why did that do so much damage? Pichu has like no defense apparently. I have to go heal now. Pichu grows to level 10. Nothing in special attack. Nah, why would you bother? Picky Becker grows to level 11. Wow, I bet you can finish any trial. Probably. I'm gonna go heal though. He damaged my Pokemon. And my Slowpoke's dead. I have Teleport, I should use that. You're up late. It's uh, 5 o'clock in the afternoon.
Alright, before we get too much further, I might have to uh, call it an episode there. That's a bit of a shorter one today. But, I'd like to thank you for joining me for this episode of Pokemon Moon. And I hope to see you very soon in the next episode.